Since I started 3D printing back in 2019, I've printed a variety of things from fun little objects like miniatures and models, to parts for projects, commissions, and various other things. As much fun as it is to print a miniature or model of something, fixing stuff using 3D printing is extremely satisfying and recently an opportunity came up that suited 3D printing perfectly. This is the X5U5 system, a wireless audio transmitter and receiver which I use for my videos. It came with a nice lovelier microphone which I was planning on using for this video, but unfortunately the custom clip for it broke when I tried to install it. Other lav clips I own are too big for this mic, but upon closer inspection of the clip, I saw that the part that holds the mic is actually removable and held on by a small screw. My plan is to take this part, replicate it in CAD, and then customize it to exactly how I need it. Okay, so now that I'm here at my desk, I'm going to take a top-down photo of the part using my phone, import that into Fusion 360, model the basic details and such, and when it comes to the finer things, like the little cylinders on the side, I'll just take the measurements with my calipers and do the rest from there. After opening Fusion 360 and importing the image for reference, the idea I had was to trace around the outline of the part with a sketch. It quickly became obvious that this wouldn't be tidy and give me the result that I wanted, so I decided to redesign the part from scratch, with the key measurement being the diameter of the lavalier microphone. I then added the design elements from the original clip, such as the opening for the mic. Extruding the part, it looks quite similar to the original, aside from missing a few details. I'll add the screw hole, slice it, and then print out a prototype. The first print failed due to the filament snapping, but the second printed fine. I instantly realized that the height of the model needed to be increased severely, so I did that and added the more realistically sized screw hole. I also increased the opening for the mic and added the cylinders, as well as some chamfers to some of the edges. Once again, it was time to slice and print the part, which I had higher hopes for than before. Taking the part off of the printer, I first checked if the screw was able to be inserted, which it was, but only with a lot of force. The cylinders were also unable to be printed and had to be cut off. Attaching the mic clip to the main clip proved successful and looked quite similar to the original, especially at a distance. The real question is, does the lav mic fit? According to the footage, it does, and it also provided a nice click sound when pressed into the clip, so I know it's nice and snug. Heading back into Fusion for the final iteration, I began by increasing the screw hole slightly, as well as removing the cylinders and adding a few chamfers again. After exporting and slicing the part for the last time, I was ready to get it printed and installed. Comparing the latest print to the previous one, you can see that the bottom layer on the latest one is almost flawless. To get a scale for how small these parts are, here they are next to an M3 nut. Finishing up the video, I've got the LV1 lav mic clipped to my shirt and you're listening to it right now. This project was a success for me and if you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like on the video or subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.